Hey guys, so I got an update about this Cougar Vanta keyboard now that I've been using it for a while and got it dirty and uh, it seems that started causing some of the keys to behave strangely so I decided to clean it. Well, you can't. You can do some cursory cleaning if you take this apart but you will be making permanent damage as you go. Having said that, with my cursory clean I do seem to have fixed my little problem of the keys not responding and maybe if I cut a few holes for the screws in the top sticky layer we could have a long-term cleaning solution. I'll show you what I mean. And this video will also serve as a teardown of sorts. So underneath there are three screws to remove. There's one on the right, one on the left and one in the middle underneath this sticker. Pretty sneaky one. Uh, I had a few false starts there as you can see. I dug underneath it and found two depressions left behind by the injection molding before I actually found the real um, cavity where the screw is located and tore my way into there. The first problem is to get to these screws you need to lift up this sticky layer thing. This is not a maintainable situation. This is not a long-term workable this is going to become less sticky over time if you keep doing this it's going to peel up and it's going to look ugly. Um, I thought maybe I can cut some holes through it to get to the screws which won't be as nice looking as before but it will still be better than it peeling up over time. So that's something you can consider. So as you work your way around the edge you'll find three screws here. There, one, two, three and including the corner one you'll find five screws along the top and bottom edge. One on each corner, one, two, one in the middle and two more equidistant between the uh, middle ones and the side ones. So five along the top and the bottom. Um, the other thing I must mention is do not try to pop off these keys. I had a problem with the V key sticking and I popped it off myself and I think I, it looks like I broke one of the tiny little pivot points that it uses for the scissor action. I got it back on there. It hasn't come off since. Everything's okay. But these are also not the kinds of keys you can pop off. So don't even try it. All right, inside. We have one screw on each side and three along the top and the bottom. There are more holes that for screws than they actually have when you open it at least in mine it was like one two and then number three uh, same for the bottom now the next terrible unworkable problem every keyboard I have ever taken apart allows you to dismantle it to the point where you can take apart the plastic sheets with the printed circuitry on them that actually cause the contacts the electrical contact when you press the key down. This is great, it's made of plastic and you can clean it and with just plain water and you can pretty much fix any spillage. So long as the circuit board in the corner hasn't actually been damaged by water or whatever. Not with this one. With this one, the plastic layers which you usually can get to to clean are permanently sandwiched together between the plastic keyframe and the metal frame underneath by these plastic points they've melted into place as kind of a plastic permanent pot rivet you will not get you can't get this off you could try I'm not going to maybe to work out all right for you but yeah that's a permanent removal it might sit back on there if you break it off I don't know so I do have an air can um, I find that in throughout the years they've become increasingly useless they just don't seem to have as much pressure as they used to when I first started buying them and I resort to physically cleaning with a brush so my cursory clean did fix my problem with the keys um, however I'll just be deregulating this for nighttime use only when I program my silly programs in bed on my laptop to get to sleep and during the day, for the bulk of my keyboard usage, I'll be resorting to this cheap $6 one I got from Umart. It's lasted forever. I use it for plugging into random computers. I've never had a problem with it. And it's a standard keyboard build. You can take it apart. You can clean out every part of it. Uh, the keys pop off. You can get between the plastic printed circuitry layers. 
and yeah. So I did want to like this keyboard, but that is a very disappointing outcome. It's possible that if you look after yours and you don't eat over the top of it occasionally, like I did, you'll never have a problem. But the fact is that people do just spill things on their keyboard and they do need cleaning out after a while. It's pretty common, that's why they're built that way. Uh, this is the first keyboard that I've seen that isn't. However, it's the only backlit keyboard I could find in this price range. So keep in mind what I said in these two videos, and I hope that was useful. Enjoy the rest of your day.